what is it that's so appealing and useful to a novelist about a, a real journey? Well, for me, it was a challenge because I, I tend to, I, I, in the past, I've written novels set mainly in England, mainly particularly in London. And when I was publicizing one day, I got to go to all these great cities, which mm -hmm. uh, most of which I hadn't been to before. Mm -hmm. And I just found the idea of writing about them thrilling. But I, I don't think I have the kind of knowledge and insight to write about them as a, as a local. And I, I'm interested, I was interested also in the English abroad, the kind of comedy of of trying to get things right, trying to fit in, trying to speak the language, trying to work out which restaurants to go to, what, what sites to see. And there seemed to be a lot of comedy in that mm -hmm. as a subject. But you're right, it is a, it, it's, um, it's a, a, a journey in both senses. And the starting image for the book was the idea of a middle-aged man backpacking. It was the idea of, a, <laughs> of someone who likes order, who likes who likes uh, to know where he's meant to be at a certain time, suddenly finding himself sleeping on train platforms or when winding up in Italian prisons. And I, mm -hmm. I love the idea of this trip unraveling as a kind mm -hmm. of, I suppose uh, you're right, it's a kind of metaphor for the unraveling of his mind and of the marriage as well.